Hey guys, so today's makeup look is on this very simple purple smoky eye. Like it looks pretty not simple, but I guarantee you guys it's so easy to achieve. So I did keep it pretty simple with the products. It is an eyeshadow makeup look. I didn't bother doing my base just because I've done so many in the past. I will link up above what I did do, like the process I went through to get this base right here for you guys. I've done a video before, so I'll link up above that so you can watch it if you would like. But otherwise, yeah, no more rambling on. Let's go on with the tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so for today's look, I'm feeling purple tones. I'm feeling like a purple smoky eye is like in need for today's look. So I've already primed my lid. I'll just quickly zoom you in. So I've already primed my lids with like a little bit of concealer, but I do think I'll put an eye base on there just because it'll be, um, it'll be, oh, what's the word? I just help the eyeshadows to stick a little bit more like seamlessly. So I'm going to take my Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC and just apply a thin layer of that all over the lids all the way to the brow bone. I'm not even going to be a bit extra today and just carve out the bottom of my brow just because I want a bit of like wiggle room so I want this, it's going to be quite a dramatic look so I always feel like carving out your brows is um, what I feel is a bit more cleaner like it ends up being like a cleaner look at the end of it if you have neat brows rather than just having the more natural look so I've carved out my brows, like I said, and also applied that paint pot all over the lid so it's got a tacky base for the eyeshadows to stick to now so they won't be like patchy or anything like that and it just shows true to their colour when they've got like a neutralised base underneath. So I'm feeling like, do I want to start and crease and work down? Yeah. So for my initial shade, I'm going to take Buttercup from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to apply this through the crease with a very fluffy brush so it's quite a lighter application rather than having a more like dome shaped brush where their bristles are a bit more too compact and it creates a more intense eyeshadow look. And I'm just starting with a little bit of that colour and building it up just so that I know how much I'll apply rather than having a whole ton and not being able to blend it out. And then bring it onto the brow area. I want this yellow to be quite smoked out, so I want it to be quite high up. Next, from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take the shade Creamsicle and apply that just under the yellow. And I'm just using that same fluffy brush that we applied Buttercup with. Um, just because I still want it to be quite soft. Just like a light transition because we're getting into the deeper shades now. So, just softly. And then I'm going to take Hunts, but using a petite crease brush this time. And I'm applying that through the crease area. Starting from outer corner, working to inner corner. So like I said, I want to just start and like focus here on the outer point of the eye. And then work towards the inner corner with whatever is left. Just because I am going for more of like a cat eye cat smoky eye. Um, it still will be like a round one but I do still want most of the pigment focused here. Going back in with creamsicle just lightly. I don't want any particular shade to really stand out too much. I want them all to just mesh together. And going in with buttercup just a smidgen of it just lightly on the edges just to help it all smoke out together. I'm just blowing it out slightly above um, my natural crease just because I want it to um, make my eye shape look a bit bigger than what it actually is. And then creamsicle again like I said before and buttercup. So now I've got our little like sunsetty vibe going with this. I think I might transition to a more of like a burgundy shade. So I'm going to take Bitten from Makeup Geek and apply that through the crease. And I'm applying that through the lower portion of the crease area because we're going to start applying the deep purple and everything next. So I wanted like a burgundy shade to help tie that orange sunset vibe in with the deep kind of purple shades. 
and I'm still using that same petite crease brush to apply it. Don't worry if you get some on the lid. Um, it's more just trying to focus on getting that like right blend through the crease area. And then going back in with Jacks on the outer portion and Creamsicle and Buttercup. So now we've got our little like sunsetty transition. I want to move on with the purple, which is like the star of the show today. So I've got a couple ideas, like a couple purple shades I want to use. And I'm starting off with Poison Plum from Sugar Pill. I'm literally just going to whack that all over the lid space. So from inner to outer corner. Don't mind the, like crazy under eye situation going on. I just don't want to get any fallout on my foundation. So basically what I'm doing is I'm applying the most pigment of the purple closest to the lash line and then I'm just building like whatever's left on the brush up towards the crease area so it fades into that burgundy shade rather than like it being like a stark line kind of thing and I just like want it to fade like it's just like a little sunsetty kind of eye kind of kind of vibe so taking that burgundy shade bitten again and just smudging out the edges of a uh, poison plum like so just feathering it through I don't want it to be too crazy like I don't want to blend too much of that purple away and next to kind of deepen up that purple and give a bit of like a pop to the center of the lid a bit of shimmer I'm going to take Diva I believe the purple shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette no nope, it's not Diva it's Royalty I need to get my shades right so I'm taking royalty and I'm placing that on the very centre of the lid. Mm, 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 mm. That is a delicious shade. Ooh, pretty. And same technique, just applying most of the pigment closest to the lash line and then feathering it up towards the crease. And because we've got that matte purple in there, it's just easier for it to blend into something now. I'm just going to spritz my brush a little bit just to help the pigment stick a little bit better because we don't have a really a tacky base for that pigment because we've placed on the eyeshadow it just needs a little bit of something something so I just use like a face setting spray but water works just the same and then for the crease I'm just taking a bit of poison plum and some of that um, bitten shade and placing that on a pencil brush through the crease just above where we placed um, Diva just to help blend out the edges a bit more just lightly because I'm not really interested in like doing too much blending at this point just like a smidge a smidge bit I'm taking a bit of hunts and just running that through the outer portion and again with some of Creamsicle as well. And finally some of Buttercup. Just going back in with some of um, Royalty. Just on the very center of the lid area and I'm just packing it on. And now that's the eyeshadow done for the top lid space. I'm just going to wipe away any of that excess powder and fallout that was on my face before. So before we move on to like mascara and lashes and stuff, I do want to do a wing with this look. So it is optional you guys, like it looks so pretty already without like a wing liner. But I just feel like a wing would just like tie it in, help the lashes mesh into something. I've just been all about that wing life lately, you know. So I am going to do a winged liquid liner i'm going in with my hyper sharp liquid liner from maybelline and i'm thinking like do I, want, I think i'm doing a dramatic wing um but we'll just see like i can't really predict what these things turn out to be so just wish me luck So the wings are on, pretty happy with them. So moving on, I'm going to go in and do a tight line with a black eye coal. This is the one from Makeup Geek from their Full Spectrum collection in the shade Obsidian. And I'm just placing this in my tight line, not waterline. And that'll just help tie in my false lashes into my natural lash line. 
So for the lashes, I'm not sure what I'm going to go in with, so I'm going to apply them and then I'll come back and let you know which style I chose. So the lashes I chose to go in with are the Anitude lashes in the style Feisty. I just thought they were a little less dramatic than the sultry ones. They both like complement the cat eye shape, but I didn't want anything like too much like that was like too intense where it covered up the actual eyeshadow. I just kind of want a bit of something but not too much, you know. So for my bottom waterline area, I'm going to take an eyeshadow. If you guys do have sensitive eyes or just you've not done this before, I don't recommend just going in. I would test like a little patch on your eye. When I first applied eyeshadow to my bottom waterline, oh my god, it hurt so bad. Like my eyes were streaming for so long. Um, but they're used to it now. Um, but the only reason I'm using an eyeshadow, not an eye coal, is because I don't have a purple eye coal on me. But if you guys do, I definitely recommend using an eye coal, not eyeshadow if your eyes are sensitive or you just haven't done it before. Okay. So the eyeshadow I'm using is the one from Jaclyn Hill palette, the D, not the Diva shade, I keep saying Diva, the Royalty shade, and I'm going to place that along my bottom, bottom, my bottom waterline. <laughs> Can't speak today. And it even just like drops down slightly under the lash line, which is like, this is exactly what I want, like just a little bit under the lash line so I can like smoke it out. Oh. Yes. So next I'm going to just smoke out the bottom waterline. I think I might just keep it pretty simple and just kind of, oops, excuse me, just had a hiccup, and just repeat kind of the process we do on top along the bottom, but not to like the extreme extent that we did up here. So I just kind of keep the purple in there, a bit of the orange and the yellow. That's just like my vibes at the moment. So I'm going to take my Morphe M326 brush and taking that royalty eyeshadow on the Morphe brush, I'm just smudging that really closely against my bottom lash line, focusing it on the outer corner of the eye. I'm just kind of like tapering in that purple towards the inner corner of the eye. So taking some of Hunt's and actually mixing that in with the Bitten shade from Makeup Geek and I'm just kind of going to smoke that out softly. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh. Um, I am keeping it focused towards this outer portion of the eye using this like little pencil brush and I'm barely touching the brush to my eye when I get to my inner corner area because I do want to keep that more almond shaped look so I don't want to smoke this part out too much. It's more just this outer portion here. I actually might even just leave it like that. I actually really like how that looks. So I'm going to take like for something for like an inner corner highlight. I'm going to go in with this stunning shade from Makeup Geek called Black Light. It's like one of their duochrome shades. So I'm going to do a brow bone highlight as well. I'm taking the and light shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just like just applying a smidge bit to um, my brow bone. And then I'm going to take just like a clean. Um, pencil brush and just buff it out. I even put a bit of that yellow um, on there as well, some of that buttercup shade just to kind of help the blend process so there's something for that highlight to blend into otherwise it's just too stark like I want it to blend more softly so I'm just going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes like nothing intense because actually like, I'm lying right now like I'm actually going to do a fa fairly heavy coat of bottom lash mascara because the bottom lash line is like pretty like I'm saying pretty dramatic like you want those babies to stand out so do a couple coats so for my lips today, I'm thinking neutral. I just think, you know, dramatic eyes calls for pretty neutral lips. But I'm going to do switch it up because I have been doing my classic like eye coal, like brown eye coal in the lip. You know, Zoeva, um, Clear Message lip, like liquid lipstick. So I will change it up. So I'm going to take my lip liner from Rimmel. This is in the shade 049 Natural. So it's basically my lip color, just slightly pinkier. And I just line my lips and just fill them in a little bit. 
So for the liquid lipstick, I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Commando. I think it's a nice like pinky nude. So it'll match that lip liner quite well and also not take away from the eyeshadow that we've done. So guys, this wraps up today's makeup look. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Got a few tips and tricks from it. Let me know what you guys think of the look down below in the comment section. And also leave any requests for future tutorials. I am taking all of your requests on board and making sure to you know, apply them for my next future videos. I really am happy with how this look turned out. But it was more like a simple smoky eye. If you guys want something with more tips in it. More like tricks with me telling you, you know, step by step, like really getting down to the nitty gritty stuff. Let me know because I can do that for you. Like a how to do eyeshadow blending tutorial, like what brushes I use, things like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you did do enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below before you leave for me. That would be amazing to see you guys join my YouTube fam. I'm really just so grateful for all of you. But yeah. I'll wrap up today's look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.